Hi everyone, David here from davidtomeaudio.com and in this video, I'll be creating a monster roar from scratch using only my voice. So uh, before we jump into the project, make sure you check the description. I'll leave uh, the sounds from this uh, session in there as well as probably a few maybe other monster sounds. So check those so that you can get them for free. All right, let's get into our project. All right, so here um, I've saved us a bit of time by uh, pre-recording like two um, growl or, or roar sounds. So um, let's have a listen to them. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the two sounds we are going to be working with. So um, why don't we just start and I'll start off with Snap Peep here and see what kind of sounds we can create. So I'm just going to start off with this first sound file here. And as usual, I, I like to split off my work into frequencies. So I'm going to be uh, starting off with... Uh, probably the body of a sound so let's let's work with that so i'm gonna try to pitch it down a little bit and see what we can get so that's okay next thing i'm gonna add is not that add some distortion and one of the things i like to do when i'm doing creature sounds to make them more uh, vocal or, or vibrant is play with the envelope of the sound so that as the sound changes over time it also changes the um timbre over time. So this is going to change the mix of the distortion. Let's have us do this. So that's good. Let's try something else here. Um... I'm going to envelope two now. I'm going to bring the attack all the way down. And I'm just going to try something. I have no idea if this is going to work or what's going to happen here. So let's just assign it to the mids. Bring this down a little bit. That's okay. It's bringing out a bit of the highs there. And let's see what else we can add to this. Maybe... Um, uh, let's try some ring mod just to see. I'm actually going to put it on this one here. Uh, actually, yeah. So I'm going to put it on this other bus here, and I'm just going to copy everything over so it's the exact same but with a rig mod on it. And then I'm going to go like this, so now they're parallel. <laughs> So I can just bring in some of that um, uh, ring modulation. So that's pretty good like that. I think I'm going to try some multiband compression. I'm just going to bring these down and bring this down a little. Okay, so that's pretty good. So this could serve as the body of my sound. Um, there's a little weird noise here at the end. I'm gonna see if I can chop it off. So maybe it's just part of it. That's a little bit better. That's better. Okay, so that's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this one down on here. And let's just hear it by itself. Ah! So this is, of course, with the same settings as the previous one. But I want this to be way lower, so I'm going to pitch it down quite a bit more. I want this to be a really bassy layer. So 
I like that. So let's listen to both of these together now. So I think I'm going to shorten this one a little bit just so it matches that first sound. Because right now this one is a little bit longer and it's just a little too long. So I'm just going to squeeze it up a little bit. Bring it down like this and let's hear that. There you go. Now they're both kind of matching in shape. That, that's pretty good. I'm going to now try to work on another layer. So I'm going to duplicate this track here and just work on this track. And I think I'm probably going to try to make this a higher frequency uh, layer. So let's let's try that. So let's the first thing I'm going to do is just cut out some of the lows here like that. And let's hear it into what we have. I'm going to assign this to here. So I really want this to be jumping around a lot just to give it a vocal character. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a format filter on this. That's okay like that. Um, let's see what else we can get here. Let's see if I can use this. I don't normally use it. And let's find out. Yeah. 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 I'm going to try it with this on. And I'm also going to assign it to the mix so that it can come in and out. Okay, so that's okay. Um, I'm still not super happy with it, so let's keep going here. Maybe pitch it off, see what I can get. Okay, let's add some ring modulation. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm going to try that, and then I'm going to put some OTT to balance out the frequencies here. Not sure if I'm going to keep that if I like it or not, but let's let's keep going with it just to see what I can get. Let's blend it in back with the other ones now. If I remove it. We're going to try to put this underneath. I'm not liking it too much, so I'm just playing around with it. That's a little bit better. Okay, so that's a little bit better. I'm kind of liking this as a bass sound here. I could probably EQ it a little bit more to take some of those weird frequencies out. I think 
it's here or something. Yeah, it's definitely here. There you go. So if I A, B this, have a listen to what, what the EQ moves that I'm doing here. So I was basically hearing some, the, the part of the sound from this layer around four to 600 hertz. And it was really sticking out and I, I wanted it to blend more. So I'm just cutting it out a little bit so that um, it can blend back into the other two layers. So let, I'm gonna turn it off and just AB it. So to my ear, it, it just it blends a bit more. I didn't really want those this layer to stick out too much. It's really more of a top end layer to add a bit of brightness and closeness to the sound. So that's kind of what it's doing. And I think just by adding those EQ moves, it helps to, to do that. All right, so the next thing I do, wanna do, because this I find this is a pretty decent like a bass monster sound, I'm just gonna start applying some effects to the group together to uh, maybe blend it a bit more, maybe add a bit more aggression to it and see what else we can do to it. So I'm just gonna add this to a group. So I'm just gonna call it one through a group. And let's see what we have. Uh, where is it? All right, right here. Okay, so I'm just going to add Snap Heap on here. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a bit more designing of it here. So again, I would just want to add a bit more distortion to it. Oh. I see the issue. I'm not sending it over. <laughs> so I'm just going to send these to the monster group. So here we go. There. All right. So now they're being sent to the monster group. Let's see. There you go. It's way too much. <laughs> there you go. So that really thickens up the sound, makes it sound a lot more aggressive. So I like that. And you know what? I could probably leave it right there. I kind of like this sound to begin with. Um, the only other things I might add to it are uh, some compression, but I think if you look at the sound, I don't think it's going to need it very much. Like it's already pretty well compressed, so it doesn't really need it. So I'm going to leave that out. Um, maybe add something like a format filter. Again, not necessary, but it might help. I think it's just overdoing it at this point. So I'm just going to leave it out. And the last thing I'm going to do is just put some reverb on just to, to glue it all together. And uh, yeah, put it outside. Monsters are usually outside. This is my normal preset. Let's have a listen. <laughs> And there you have it. So I think this is going to be my final sound effect. So again, using just my voice, two samples of my voice, blending the sounds together, adding some um, some some plugins in there to, uh, to to design it. And that's basically it. So let's listen to it one more time. And I think that's going to be it for this video. All right. So that is everything. Uh, I hope you guys like that. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. And I always do my best to answer them. And uh, as I said before at the beginning of the, of the video, check the descriptions for those free sound effects and I'll, I'll make sure to include this sound that we created together in uh, that um, little sound pack for you guys. So um, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.